Welcome back. Promised Land is a new book about Israel's first two decades seen through the eyes of the founding generation. I'm here with the author of that book and NBC's longtime Middle East correspondent, Martin Fletcher. Thank you so much for being here. It's such an honor to have you here. Thank you, Charles. For our viewers who aren't familiar <coughs> with uh, your 32 years of service to NBC, you've been around the world. You've been on the front lines of a lot of major uh, stories. I have. I spent, uh, I was bureau chief in NBC in, in Tel Aviv. Uh, for about 28 years. During that time, I traveled around the world. And for the purposes of this talk that, that was given last night at the JCC here in New Orleans, I counted, I've covered 17 wars, three famines, tsunamis. But what interested me wasn't so much the big news of the day, but the people I met. Yeah, and you, and you converted your love for telling the people story into telling, you know, full, long-length novels. I mean, you're, you're, you're a prolific author. What, six books now, is it? Six books since I left NBC in, uh, <laughs> eight years ago, yeah. <laughs> Perfect. So let's talk about the, the most current book, okay, The, the Promised Land. This is, this is the journey of, of the birth of a nation. A lot to put in a book. But could, give us a little uh, taste of it. Yeah, well, The Birth of a Nation is exactly right. That's what I wanted to write about. I wanted to write about, um, first of all, I began as a nonfiction book. Mm -hmm. But I decided to write a novel about the first 20 years of Israel's existence. And it's the first in a trilogy. So there's going to be three books, each covering about 20 years of Israel. And I tell the story through, of Israel through a family, two brothers, like a struggling young family set against the, a, str a struggling young nation, and um, the love, the hate, the intrigues, the jealousies. Uh, but what was important to me was to tell the story of Israel. You know, I didn't want to tell the history of Israel. I wanted to tell the story of Israel. Um, sort of like, you know, Dallas meets Exodus. You know, there's a family saga. Yeah, so this is the first in a trilogy, so you've got some work to do, work ahead of you. I feel like shooting myself in the head for <laughs> promising another two more books, I've got to say. And, and so, I mean, The Birth of a Nation, I mean, you, like I said, were on the front lines of a lot of major wars and, and creations of, of how policies are now. How did that experience help you in forming this story? Well, it helped a lot because, as I say, you know, we always talk about the journalists being uh, writing the first page of history. And I guess we do do that. But for me, what I felt when I was meeting the people in these tragic situations that I met them in, I was actually writing the next page of their life. You know, so it wasn't the big picture of history. It was the next page of a person's life. And, you know, in, in New Orleans uh, with, with uh, Hurricane Katrina, I mean, how did the city and the people, the individuals, carry on the next day with their lives? You know, how did you do that? And that's what it always fascinated me as a journalist in the places I went. And that's the question I brought to the, to the, to the novel. It's a novel, of course, so I wanted to tell the fictional story of a, a couple of brothers from Germany, Jewish boys, who get, who get split up through the Holocaust. They meet up in Palestine. They're part of the founding, the founders of the new country. How do you build a new country from scratch? And it's, it's hard, you know, obviously, and that's what, I got at, well, that's what I get at in the novel. I try to f show how hard it must have been and to get into the lives of the people. So that, I think, that's, that interest I had as a journalist definitely translates into my, what I'm doing now as a novelist. Well, we can't wait to turn those pages. Thank you so much for uh, joining us, Barton. Really, uh, again, an honor to have you here. The Promised Land available right now.